Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess, confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is widely reported that there is immorality among you, and immorality of a kind not found even among pagans, a man living with his father's wife. And you are inflated with pride. Should you not rather have been sorrowful the one who did this deed should be expelled from your midst. I, for my part, although absent in body, but present in spirit, have already, as if present, pronounced judgment on the one who has committed this deed. In the name of our Lord Jesus, when you have gathered together, and I am with you in spirit, with the power of the Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan from the, for the destruction of his flesh, so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not appropriate. Do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. You hate all evildoers. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You destroy always speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But let all take refuge in you, be glad and exult forever. Protect them that you may be the joy of those who love your name. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? Looking around at them all, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gumbaga po sa ating lahat. Ang araw ng Sabat ay nagbibigay pansin sa nilikha o manilikha rather than sa gawa. Kung pakikinggan natin ang ebanghelyo natin sa araw na ito, makikita natin na sa panahon ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo na ang panahon ng Sabat ay napaka-importante. Kaya lang, naging importante ito sa maling dahilan. At ang focus nga ng karamihan, lalong-lalo ng, ng mga religious leaders sa panahon ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, ay yung paggawa or hindi paggawa sa panahon ng Sabat. Ibig sabihin, magiging makabuluhan sa kanila ang Sabat kung ikaw ay sumusunod sa mga dapat na gawain sa panahon ng araw na ito. Na in a way, missed the point of Sabbath. And in our gospel today, we see that the Lord Jesus Christ invites the people, especially the religious leaders, to see what the real meaning of Sabbath is. And that the Sabbath is not focused on the doing or not doing, rather than that of the being or of the creation of God. Makikita kasi natin sa Ibanghelyo natin sa araw na ito, may problema. Kasi nga, the value especially of people is now superseded o nalamangan ng value ng paggawa ng tao. Ibig sabihin, ang paghuhusga sa tao sa panahon ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, lalong-lalo na sa panahon ng Sabat, ay nakasalalay sa kanyang gawain o sa hindi paggawa. Yung kabanalan ng tao nakadepende sa kanyang gawa. Yung importante ng tao, yung importansya ng tao, depende sa kanyang gawain. At ito ay medyo delikado. Delikado. Bakit? Baka kasi isipin natin na ang gawa ay mas importante pa kaysa nilikha o ang gawa ay magkaiba doon sa nilikha. Nakakatakot. At nakakatakot kasi ang bagay na ito nakikita natin sa panahon natin ngayon. Na mas binibigyan ng importansya ang gawain kaysa nilikha. And I would like to confess, I myself is a victim of that. Minsan, nahuhuli ko ang aking sarili na mas binibigyan kong importansya ang gawain ng tao kaysa tao mismo. Halimbawa, minsan iba yung trato ko kapag ka lumapit sa akin yung medyo mukhang gusgusin at mukhang simpleng tao. Parang hindi ako ganun ka-energetic. Ay simpleng tao. Wala siguro masyadong ginagawa ito. Pero pag nakita mong mukhang maayos, may maraming ginagawa. Ang active-active, ano pong gagawin natin? Ano pong kailangan ninyo? Yung treatment magkaiba. 
And that is something very dangerous. Di ba? Kung iisipin natin, nakakatakot nga naman talaga. Gusto nyo ba? Gusto ba natin na ang paghuhusga natin o pagvalue natin sa mga bagay-bagay ay nakatuon lamang sa gawain ng tao? Halimbawa, sa pagpipili ng magpapari, okay ba sa atin na nakabase lamang sa gawain ng tao? Magaling siya mag-keyboard, magaling siya magsalita sa harap ng tao, magaling siya kumanta, pwede na maging pari. Eh masama naman ang budhi. Hindi naman totoo sa kanyang panunungkulan. Okay ba sa atin yun? Magkaiba yung gawa sa totoong tao. Okay ba sa atin pag sinabi nating ay aasawahin kita? Bakit? Marami ka kasing ginagawa. Marami kang narating sa buhay. Ikaw ay isang professional. Na yun na lamang ang basihan ng value o reputansya ng tao. Kaya nga minsan, di ba, kumukontra tayo sa pagdivalyo ng tao dahil lamang sa paggawa. Lalong-lalo na kapag hindi ka aya-aya yung ginawa. Minsan dahil hindi ka aya-aya yung ginawa, para sa atin yung tao, wala nang kwenta. Hmm, adik yan. Mamamatay tao yan. Patayin na rin natin yan. Dapat wala na yan sa lipunan. Nakabase sa gawa. But the Sabbath, that is being reminded of our Lord Jesus Christ tells us otherwise that the importance or the dignity of person is not based on their work or of their doing but their dignity comes from their being created by God a creation of God an image and likeness of God na kahit sa anong estado pa ng tao may ginagawa man yan o wala, importante kasi anak ng Diyos. Maraming pagkakatao na tayo, minsan, di ba, nalulugmok, nawawala sa tamang daan. Pero sa mata ng Diyos, hindi nawawala ang ating pagiging anak niya. Kaya ito ang paanyaya ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa panahon ng Sabat o para sa ating lahat. Natignan ang tao, the value of person, not based on their works, but rather of their being children of God, kahit ano pa yung ginagawa nila. So mga kapatid sa araw na ito, magandang pagnilay-nilayan, paano ba natin binibigyan ng value ang isang tao? Saan nakabase ang value ng isang person para sa atin? Sa mata ba natin, importante ang tao depende sa kanyang ginagawa o sa hindi ginagawa? O importante ang tao na sapagkat siya ay nilikha ng ating maawain at manlilikha na Diyos? Magsitayo po tayong lahat. For us Christians, there is no higher law than the gospel command of loving God and neighbor. Let us affirm this belief as we pray for the needs of each member of the church as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may always be renewed and purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in authority may be guided in, by wisdom when making decisions and setting priorities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our worship may reflect our sincerity and dedication to the humble service of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring hope in the, to the despairing and comfort of the, to the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions, and we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. Heavenly Father, 
you search our hearts and you know our innermost thoughts. Inspire our hearts for more sincere worship and our hands for more willing service to our neighbors. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race. So also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your Apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter, enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po ay magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentators, sa ating acolytes, sa ating Eucharistic ministers, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa ito. Maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. to have